I forgot lunch today, so we're gonna have to figure something out. So the manager for all these buildings wants me to go through and inspect every pipe. And if I see any kind of corrosion or what might look like a leak, he wants it tagged out and wants us to fix it. That is awesome. Not only am I gonna do that, I think I'm gonna double down. And I've got a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of parts on most of these older boilers that I either have to swap out or I probably should swap out. But why? Why swap out a part if it's not technically broken? And most of those parts being low water cutoff probes, 51-2 gaskets, or any of the other float style low water cutoffs, uh, igniters for the burners, um, if the boiler, this one has a spark igniter, if it had a thermocouple, I think I'm just gonna swap out every thermocouple regardless. All right, I think it's gonna do it for this one. All right, this one wasn't too bad. Only thing that looks like we're gonna have to tag out is gonna be this section of pipe right here, which that's not that bad. So I'm gonna stop and get lunch. I just wanted to make a really quick stop first before I do. Today's 9-11. Uh, I know this is gonna come out tomorrow, but I was in Jersey City, so I just had to stop by. I was in uh, second grade when 9-11 um, happened. And I remember that they took everybody to the auditorium and we had no idea what was going on. It was just, you know, it was another, you know, we thought it was an assembly. And all of a sudden, one by one, they just kept announcing name after name after name over the loudspeaker uh, that someone's parent was there to pick them up. And then my mom came and I thought, oh, well, a little early to be going by my grandma's house, but hey, whatever. And little did I know when I got home, I remember seeing on the TV, the, uh, the Twin Towers. And it was, it was scary. Me and my brother, we, um, cause we, we didn't know really what was going on. We went looking in our backyard for this guy they kept talking about called Osama bin Laden like he's going to be in our backyard but we just felt like you know we wanted to do something to help so uh wow it's just goes to show the power of new york man you guys are still terrible at driving though oh and there's the statue of liberty which technically that and ellis island are in new jersey waters just hope we clear that up Thanks. Alright. I really hope on this boiler we find something that probably should be swapped out because that would make this a very awkward video if it didn't go the way I was planning. Okay, so the low water cutoff probe we are gonna swap out and the flame sensor. probably thinking why if they don't look bad would you swap them out because that's the point how much longer do we really think we're gonna get out of this probe this is I'm pretty sure based on the age of the boiler and the condition that the probe is in that this is the original probe. Now, some probes are recommended to be changed every five years, regardless of the condition that they're in. And that doesn't mean that the older probes aren't good, but is the juice worth the squeeze? Do we really think we can get more time out of this low water cutoff probe, being that it's potentially 
eight years old? Or should we just go ahead and swap it out and then we don't have to worry about it? It's one less thing. The point I'm getting at is get it while it's small. Instead of this becoming a bigger issue in the middle of winter, when the heat goes out, people start calling the town and the health department. It's not worth it. In residential terms, it would be like changing out a hot surface igniter and not swapping out the flame sensor. It's like you're already there. You might as well. Flame sensors are not expensive and they go bad all the time, just as frequent as hot surface igniters. How much, how long do you realistically think that a flame sensor is gonna last? Okay, here is a perfect example. Look at this thermocouple. Was it still working? Yes. Is it worth keeping? No, of course not. Fix the problem while it's small. This is gonna go out at some point. Will we get through the winter? I don't know, maybe. Is it worth taking the risk that the heat goes out in the middle of the winter, that we have to come back on a service call? I'm already here doing the maintenance. You might as well swap it out. Don't feel bad swapping out parts on service, even if they're working, they look bad. If you look at it, you have a doubt, you think there's a problem with it, swap it out. That's where I'm gonna leave it. See you tomorrow.